Hello my star children, I am Anastasia Ark and I am super grateful that you are watching this channel. Today will be one of the difficult topics for me which I haven't told many people about me struggling from that or trying to figure out what it is and what can I do to not struggle. So I have been struggling from a highly functional depression highly function depression means it's change in your sleep habit in your eating habits it's your self-esteem going down it's um difficulty of get of concentrating and it's also pain in your muscles which i have experienced that for a long time i just did not did not know what it is and how to help myself number one is i do not want to take any substances substances to help me because that is too easy i have tried doing it and it's just instead of ignoring a problem it didn't help me with dealing with my issue and that's one of the things that it been difficult for me is to realize that um getting yourself drunk or getting yourself you know to another level with pills and other things does not help you it just will take you farther in a hole well it won't help me at least maybe you have a different different situation and you taking it and different ways and that might help you for me i realized that that doesn't help me and the only thing it does for me is confuses me it's getting me deeper in the hole and then instead of even um trying to figure out and dealing with it i would be just ignoring it and getting myself farther from this planet instead of being here and figuring out my problem and what can i do with it and one of the things that I realized is running from your problems is not gonna help you. Um, I have also a severe, um, it's, it's kind of like an aggression and it's fast and, and, and I can just start yelling all of a sudden because something uh, discomforts me or something that makes me in my head um, not feel like I deserve being talked like to like that and I just lash out and start yelling instead of pull out um, look at my problem from the side and deal with it one of the things that I start doing changes is that I refuse taking any substances substances to help me deal with that that's number one thing that I decided for myself that I do not want to rely on those things and I don't want to jump from one thing to another to another to help me deal with that because it would not help me personally it's again this is my personal opinion this is my personal view on this problem that how I'm looking at it for myself to help me so number one I refuse to take anything that can you know relax me or keep my mind off of it because it just creates an addiction instead of helping me dealing with it and um, a number two what I'm trying to do is to uh, get my mind and my heart in the right place and that means for me is getting a right connection with God because that what I want to concentrate and put my mind um, and put my um, all of my problems aside and concentrate on him to deal with this um, problem with this depression and also number three is uh, finding a hobby finding something that could keep your mind off of it and if it's going to the gym if it's um, cooking if it's recording videos or going uh, shopping or just um, 
or just looking uh, going to the mall or looking at things you don't have to spend your money finding anything that could keep your mind off of it would help and uh, that's one of the things also would help me uh, how it all happened I noticed that um, my it's starting from eating uh, I wouldn't eat a lot at all and it always seemed totally normal to me and it started like eating only only twice a day and I would never eat like a lot a lot I would eat just a little bit and it would be enough for me and then <laughs> going to sleep uh, that I would not be able to sleep until we would say 12 o'clock and literally forcing myself laying down there when my brain would go 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 um, and it would not help me I would just um, I would not sleep I wouldn't eat very well I wouldn't exercise or anyhow help my body recover or get the energy get the muscle I would drink a lot a lot of coffee which is um, it would have helped me relax it would help of course it energize you at some point the coffee stopped energizing me and it would be just a habit of drinking it and that's something I'm trying to also figure out how I can manage not to use it as just uh, a habit of drinking it I just have it maybe uh, in the morning and I have it throughout the day another thing that I'm struggling with is having an acid reflex which is um takes me away from a lot of certain foods and it goes from coffee it goes from alcohol it goes from smoking it goes from all a lot of things and it's also you gotta have a self-discipline to take yourself away from it and um, be able looking at it from a side and seeing what's best for me and how can I how can I deal with it and again it's just the beginning of my journey I have said no to a lot of things um, that would destroy me from inside and that I chose to ignore it not seeing and keep going and um, it is not okay it did not make me happy it was more of a um, I'm just used to doing it and I'm gonna keep doing it no matter if it's gonna hurt me or not I would just keep doing it to me I found out that is not right for me I just at some point I said no I cannot I don't want to be doing it I cannot do it I want God blessing me in my life and um, and I want him to walk next to me and I don't want to be embarrassed in front of him and I want to I don't want to be embarrassed in front of my family I want to take actions into my own hands and absolutely number one into God's hand and then um, look at those things from a side and seeing how I can actually figure out what's the best way to help myself and that's the things that I am planning to be doing and um, I'm already making sure like my food that's one of the things I cut out all the things that will give me acid reflex I do still uh, eat here and there something that you know just uh, just maybe not the best best food but still makes you know makes me happy which it's a process it doesn't go like in the same day you just cut out your food cut out all your bad habits and it's gonna be all good no it's gonna be a process it has to be from you nobody can force you to do anything it has to be with you you have to decide by yourself and that's one of the things that I uh, at some point I was just like that's it and then when I said that's it and I knew in my heart that it was it it happened it worked because you can be lying to yourself for a long long time and be like I'm okay I'm fine with this I'm okay I'm fine with this and at some point it's just gonna you're gonna get sick of it and you're not gonna be fine with it anymore and that's where I for me I understand that it's God talking to you and telling you hey you know what at some point it's just enough already how much can you destroy yourself and be unhappy and be in it and being okay with it? That's where it's a scary part where we get so used to our lifestyle and uh, that is okay for us. So going, going back to subject, having a highly 
highly functional depression is like you look that everything is okay nobody can tell that you have a problem and you don't even realize that you have a problem you functioning you're going to work you're paying your bills you're taking taking care of your chores but you not taking care of yourself and that's where for me it started to being obvious is you not taking care of yourself you don't love yourself enough to take care of yourself and stop with your bad behavior with your bad choices and when i realized that i just said to myself enough and um it's it's gonna be difficult there's gonna be always those people who will try to get you to your old lifestyle but it's all up to you to be strong or not and this world is very difficult because a lot of people if you're not doing what they doing you're not cool enough and you can't hang out or how they say you can't sit with us but at some point you got to realize what's best for you not for other people and you can't please everybody you have to please yourself that's number one so for me is realizing that i have a problem and uh seeing where can i start with and if it's starting with your eating if it's starting with your sleep with um you know start having more self-love whatever it is um to me it helped me Eve, to realize that i don't want to have that lifestyle i want to trust god and i want to give all of my choices in my life into god's hands that was my where it always bothered me in my heart where if i start disconnecting from god because of my choices and me ignoring that i have problems that's where i was not okay and that's where it's always in the back of my night my head it's all in the back of my brain it's always was this ringing where it always kind of remind me hey there's something you need to fix and how long is it gonna take you to fix that and it, might, it took me a couple years to realize that i'm doing something wrong to start fixing it and this is a time for me now and i'm coming on this channel to talk about that i do have a problem and i'm not perfect and i i do have a highly functional depression which i'm trying to deal with right now and i'm trying to be more positive and um make changes in myself so i will be taking you on this journey and letting 